Better go in there. Yeah. Gotta go in there. Gotta go in there. <laughs> <laughs> Final part! Final part! Final part! Final part! Final part! June Doherty's impact on Pac-12 women's basketball and basketball as a whole is incredible. I mean, she left a Grand Canyon-sized footprint at both University of Washington and at Washington State University. She got Cougar Nation to believe that yes, elite basketball players can come to this school and thrive. That wouldn't have happened without June and Mike Doherty. I got to play my senior year for June at UW. So she came in and with a coaching change, you just never really know what to expect. And the first time I met her, she came in and she was clapping her hands and she's like, let's go, this is gonna be a great day. And I was like, okay, is this for real? She had so much energy and enthusiasm and a joy for the game. She was an investor of people. I remember when I first got here, it was my very first coaches meeting, my very first head coaching job, and there was a break. And she, we were walking out into the hallway, I was completely overwhelmed, and she came out and she put her arm around me and she's like, uh, I believe in you, you're gonna do great there. I mean, I still remember that, and this is 11 years ago, right? And I just am uh, so grateful um, for the impact she had on the game, but more importantly, the impact she had on people's hearts. And what set her apart and set just from so many coaches that I know is the glass was always half full. And 99% of the coaches you talk to, the glass is always half empty. They'll just tell you everything that's going wrong and tell you all the reasons why it's going wrong and why there's, you know, blah, blah. June was always like, it's a good day. We're going to get to work. We're going to take care of business. And she just was, she just was, you know, six feet of energy and positivity. A lot of people like to say they envision the world through a glass half full lens. June Doherty's cup was always overflowing. She was the most positive person I have ever encountered in my life. There were so many times when Washington State was picked to finish last or near the bottom of the conference and she goes, they just don't know. They just don't know us. They just don't know our heart. June was one of those coaches that understood relationships. She would recruit kids that other coaches said they won't stick in the Pac-12. They've got attitude problems. June would take those, those players and love them. Love them to death and believe in them, believe in them to their core. And those kids would play with joy personified. So the stories about June aren't gonna be wins and losses. It's just the way she was with her team. That's my team. Her kids played so hard for her. And whenever you left that gym, you always felt better because you got to be in June Doherty's presence. You know, it's a devastating loss. She had a husband and Mike that just loved her dearly. And they're beautiful twins, Doc and Bree, and just what accomplished adults they are now. And what a great mom they had. Give me, give me some action there. <laughs> it's a tremendous loss, but I think if we just think about everything she, sort of the, what it meant to be around her, it's, it's a good lesson to live by. She cast a wide net of love and affection. Losing her, uh, that, this one hurt a lot. This season, there will be a lot of times when June goes through our heads and hearts and you know she's she's scouting somewhere or golfing or something somewhere but there's going to be there will be many times when when you know you just kind of think mm, we miss you <laughs>